In this video, we will discuss few of the important questions, reasoning questions from aldehyde ketone organic chemistry class 12th. Now, these are the questions which are frequently asked in the board exam. Now, all these three questions have same answer, but the question framed in different way. The first point here, why aldehydes are more reactive than ketone? Or by giving example of aldehyde ketone, that is why propanol is more reactive than propanone? or arrange the following in increasing reactivity towards HCN. So the basic answer here is the aldehyde is more reactive than ketone. The basic two points are inductive effect and the steric hindrance. Now greater will be the inductive effect, lesser will be the reactivity. So in the, in the aldehyde, there is a less inductive effect because only one alkyl group is present. Where it, in ketone, there are two alkyl groups, so greater the plus I effect, hence less will be the reactivity. Now, the second factor which controls the reactivity is the steric hindrance. In ketone, the carbonyl on which attack will occur is more sterically hindered, whereas in aldehyde, it is less sterically hindered, hence aldehyde is more reactive. So, if we have to answer this question, then we have to explain these two points. Why propanol and why propanol is more reactive than propanone then you have to write these point and instead of R you will write here CH3 here CH3 and CH3 and then by showing that here it is a greater plus I effect greater steric hindrance hence it is less reactive now if we have to arrange these aldehyde and ketone on the basis of their reactivity then ketone will be the least reactive so out of these four one two three four these two are the ketones and the ketone which is greater in chain length will be the less reactive so this will the least reactive this ketone that is ethyl methyl ketone then propanone then comes ethanol and the most reactive will be here methanol because in this case no alkyl group is present so in case of aldehyde smaller the carbon uh, so, uh, smaller the alkyl group greater will be the reactivity so out of ethanol and methanol methanol will be more reactive now if example is like that if there is a benzaldehyde and the ethanol then ethanol will be more reactive because in benzaldehyde there is a bulkier aromatic group present so if we have to arrange these then ethyl ketone or ethyl methyl ketone is the least reactive then propanone then ethanol and the most reactive will be the methanol. Now the same question can be framed and asked in CBSE exam in two different way. Again you have to arrange their reactivity. So out of benzaldehyde, para aldehyde, para nitrobenzaldehyde and acetophenone we have to state which one is most reactive and which one is least reactive or arrange them in increasing or decreasing order. So what is the structure of benzaldehyde? Benzene, CHO, para aldehyde, CHO and CH3 at the para position, para nitrobenzaldehyde which means nitro at the para position and acetophenone is the benzene COCH3. So since ketone is the least reactive, so acetophenone will be the least reactive. Then out of these three, the one which plus I effect will be the least reactive then comes benzaldehyde and the most reactive will be the NO2 because here it is an electron withdrawing so here least reactive will be the acetophenone then comes para aldehyde then comes benzaldehyde and the most reactive will be nitro benzaldehyde now the next again on the same basis we have to arrange in order of their reactivity so first of all draw their structure acetaldehyde will be ch3 cho acetone is a ketone ch3 co ch3 di third butyl ketone so third butyl is like this tertiary ch3 ch3 so di third butyl ketone is the bulkier group on both side then methyl third butyl ketone will be on one side there is methyl and on other side there is a third butyl ketone now if we just follow the rule ketone will be the least reactive so out of these two this is more sterically hindered so di third butyl ketone is the least reactive then comes this ketone then comes 
propenone or we can say acetone and the most reactive here will be the acetaldehyde towards HCN. So all these questions are based on basic two factors inductive effect and steric hindrance. So you must write this statement and explain greater the inductive effect lesser will be the reactivity greater the steric hindrance lesser will be the reactivity. So in aldehyde less inductive effect less steric hindrance hence it is more reactive. Now just come cyclohexanone form cyanohydrin in good yield but 2,2-trimethyl cyclohexanone does not. So again again is the reason HCN, CN has to be attacked here. The nucleophile will attack only if there is less sterically hindered. In this case it is very much sterically hindered hence no reaction will take place. So you have to draw the diagram and then you have to write that it is more steric hindrance in case of 2,2-tri methyl cyclohexanone hence attack of CNN does not occur. Now on the basis of amino derivative question there are two NH2 group in a semi carbazide so this is a semi carbazide where are two NH2 group but in reaction only one NH2 involved why not this one so then you have to draw this resonating structure where you can see that the lone pair of this NH2 is involved in the resonance whereas this lone pair is completely available for the reaction. So hence we can say NH2 which is directly attached to carbonyl. So this is the NH2 which is directly attached to a carbonyl is involved in resonance hence the electron density of NH2 group decreases hence it does not act as a nucleophile. So now the question here is there are two NH2 group but only one involved in reaction why not other because that NH2 is involved in resonance with the carbonyl hence does not available for donation hence electron density decreases on this NH2 hence it does not involve in a semi carbazone formation. So you have to must write this resonating diagram in it. The next question arrange them in increasing order of their boiling point. So the boiling point it depends upon the hydrogen bonding. So out of these four alcohol is the one in which hydrogen bonding takes place strongly. So it has the highest melt boiling point. Then comes your aldehyde. There is a dipole interaction. Then there ether and the least will be the alkane. So the most having the highest boiling point will be the alcohol then comes aldehyde then comes ether and the least will be the alkane which possesses the least boiling point because in this case only van der Waal force of attractions are there. Now the last question here it is necessary to control the pH during the reaction of aldehyde and ketone which are ammonia derivative. So this is ammonia derivative NH2Z when it reacts with carbonyl form this complex. Now what happened? Why we have to control the pH? Because if medium is weakly acidic, then protonation of carbonyl will not occur because here also we require the reaction. And in the highly acidic medium, NH2 will be protonated. So now it will not act as a nucleophile. So that is why we have to control the pH. At smaller pH, protonation of carbonyl will not occur. Whereas in highly acidic medium, protonation of NH2 will occur. So kindly practice all these reasoning questions, they are frequently asked in the board exam. Thank you everyone.